Hey folks, this is JK from the Ministry of Otaku. I hope you are doing okay in this dystopian and catastrophic time. And I want to talk about Elite Dangerous in, in this video. Now, Elite Dangerous is a space sim for the PC, Xbox One, and PS4. Where you can be a bounty hunter, space trucker, miner, a delivery man, or fighting, or fighting in wars. Now, I've mentioned space trucker for a reason because in-game there's a crisis that happened a few days ago. To sum up, a group of terrorists attacked several spaceports in mostly the capital systems of the three major powers, the Empire, the Federation, and the Alliance, damaging them and forcing the residents and visitors to evacuate. And also, a summit got cancelled. The West Federation is blaming the Empire for the attacks while the people involved in the movement to bring democracy to the Empire has condemned the attacks. Meanwhile, all over the bow, players known as commanders are flying into the systems of the affected spaceports and their ships are retrofitted with uh, passenger modules, mostly economic class passenger modules. They fly into these spaceports, rescue them, and transport them into rescue ships that are 5 megameters away from the port. Commanders repeating the same trips over and over and over again to gain credits and ranking and reputation. Commanders are getting fast ranks in the auxiliary military systems to get rankings in military spacecraft being awarded or being available to fly in the game. What is less known is that you can make a lot of money in this event by shipping water, evacuation shelters, liquid oxygen, and basic medicines to these rescue ships. If you, have, if you have a ship, like a Type 6 uh, transport, like I do, which can hold 10, I mean 100 tons of product, you can buy as much of these goods as possible and, and, and gain a lot of cash as a result. I'll give you one sample, sample in the system I'm in, Nano Man. Well, the spaceport got destroyed by the bombs, uh, Han Gateway has a rescue ship nearby selling these goods. I have several ports that you can buy these goods and ship them to these rescue ships. Now, the first one is, is war. The first one is war. You can buy them at 4,600 credits at Grizzly Dock in the Nanoman system. You ship it to the rescue dock nearby, that is nearby the uh, affected uh, space port, which is rescue ship Han Gateway, and you can make 1,000... I mean, 176,000 credits gain you a profit of uh, 171,400 credits. Now, the second one is for evacuation shelters, legal oxygen, basic medicines. Now, near the Nanomet system, you can uh, buy them at a nearby LHS system, system where, where basically, where, at, where it's called the Tanaka Terminal at the, uh, at the following uh, prices. At Tanaka Tunnel, at the, at, which is at the LHS, uh, I don't remember what it's called, but you can look up uh, Tanaka Tunnel at, at any uh, website for Elite Dangerous, every community website for Elite Dangerous, you, and you know the uh, LHS uh, system there. Now, for evacuation shelters, you can get them, you can buy them for $25,400, and you can sell them at the, uh, at the, at the rescue uh, station, for three hundred seventy-eight thousand six hundred dollars, for a profit of three three hundred fifty-three thousand two hundred dollars. Liquid oxygen, you can sell them. You can buy them for selling one thousand five hundred credits, and you can uh, and they can uh, buy off you for three hundred ninety-seven thousand dollars. I mean three hundred three hundred three hundred ninety-seven thousand nine hundred credits with a profit of three 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 hundred twenty six thousand four hundred credits. As for basic medicines, you can buy them at that terminal for three three thousand six hundred credits. And they can sell off you can sell them for four hundred and seventy five thousand two hundred credits of a profit that's a profit of 441,600 credits. Yes, 441,600 credits. That's a lot of money you can make over one shipment. If you want to make a lot of money, just buy a lot of basic medicine shipments. Or if you can't, just buy a parts I've just buy the other parts I've mentioned. 
Just fit as many cargo modules as you can as you can in your ship, fly into any system that has a damaged port, and get straight to work shipping these goods to from the uh, terminals and rescue ships. Just three shipments of basic medicines will net you over one million credits per shipment. And if you do five shipments, you could you would gain two million credits. That's uh yes, two million credits in in uh per uh, per hour. That's a lot of money, believe it or not. Lots of money. So that's a quick way you can get wealthy and rich and profit over a crisis to speak of and you can actually help people out. But please act fast because these events only last for one week. And around March of eighteenth, the eighteenth of March these spaceports will go into repair mode, which will possibly mean that you will not be able to rescue people or ship goods into these rescue ships anymore until the next time a spaceport gets destroyed by a regular Fargoid. This is JK from the Ministry of Taku, and we'll see you next time.